Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna be going over the review for the Comica Track Shot. So before we talk about the microphone itself, let's just go over what you're gonna be getting in the box. And the box that they give you is actually probably the nicest Comica box I've seen. I think I said that for the last video as well. Um, this one's even better. It's It protects the microphone completely. It's really kind of small and compact. They give you everything you need um, in this really nice looking case. Very, very nice. Um, but you're gonna be getting two windscreens or two dead cats rather. Um, they go right over the top of the microphone. They look good. Uh, two cables. One cable is specifically for a smart device, so it can go into your iPad or iPhone or whatever. Um, also, another cable that goes into your camera. Um, and those are the only two cables are given you this time, as well as a USB-C cable. So this microphone um, does charge, does have an internal battery, and it has USB-C, which is actually pretty awesome. So the microphone itself is actually really good build quality. It is full metal. Um, I was expecting it to be plastic like some of their other previous mics, but this one actually is metal. Um, on the side, you do have a USB-C charging spot as well as the out where you put the cable that goes into the uh, camera or phone. Um, and then on the other side, you have the headphone, for, headphone jack for, for monitoring. Um, and then on the actual, like the back of it, where the main display is, there's a mode button and then a power button. Um, that power button also doubles as uh, the frequency type you're using, but the mode, when you click on the mode button, it actually changes the uh, orientation um, settings for the microphone. So you can have it on, you know, kind of full front facing um, or kind of the bi-directional, which one front in the, uh, one microphone in the front, the other one in the back, that kind of stuff. But you'd click on that mode button um, to get it to be the right setting. And then you just kind of set it. There's also a dial on top for your uh, main uh, gain. Um, I have found that putting it not all the way jacked up, but usually keeping it around six or seven um, is a nice medium quality uh, without anything getting too crazy, maybe eight going at the very highest. So one main purpose that really kind of stood out for me for this microphone, um, and this, this is really what separates this microphone completely from other microphones, is the ability to do this. I'll show you. You're going to gently put the microphone in the back and then the one in the front so that if you are vlogging or if you're showing something, you have clear, good audio for yourself and also for whatever you're showing on the other side, if that's another person or whatever the case may be. Um, and then if you are flipping it, now we still have good audio, which it's funny because it's kind of a simple thing. You really wouldn't think that this is like a great moment for microphones or something, but it makes a huge difference being able to just have good, clear audio here. And then also like this, if you're, if you've ever vlogged or you've ever kind of done those types of videos, you know that as soon as you flip your camera from in front of you to this, your audio goes terrible. I mean, I remember there was one uh, Peter McKinnon video I saw where he kind of put his microphone backwards so that when he's showing something, he still has good audio. And this solves that problem. It's actually, it, it, again, it's a simple feature, but it's going to be kind of a, a game changer depending on what you're showing and how often you're using your microphone um, or your camera rather in a position uh, like this for vlogging versus anything else. It's great. So with that said, let's go ahead and hear this audio. I'm gonna do a quick vlog or test vlog uh, around the studio. You get to see it with the lights on and we can hear this audio and see how good it is. Okay, so this is a quick test kind of vlogging style. I'm holding the camera in front of me um, like I would for vlogging. It's, it's funny, it's actually, t I haven't done this in a really long time. Kind of forgot how annoying it is on my arm. Uh, but anyways, if this is the studio here with the lights on, if I were to kind of show you guys around, then uh, I am now talking into the rear of the mic. I did not actually do any mic position changes, but I'm sure I'm probably coming in even better than I was before. That's because the microphone is actually a little bit closer to me now where before I hold it like this and I'm kind of out from the camera and now when I hold it like this, um, I'm closer to the camera. So hopefully it, it sounds better. It looks like the levels are coming in pretty good. Um, so yeah, that is how this microphone sounds. Okay, I am back in my normal position here in front of the camera. Um, I just reviewed the footage and I saw, sorry about the black corners, that was just the front of this lens here, having this little guard on here and you got to see the corners because it wasn't on right. Sorry about that, probably could have just taken it right off. 
So as you were able to hear, the audio actually sounded really good. One thing to note is when you are talking into it like this, uh, because the microphone is only a few inches from you, it's gonna be a pretty big difference from when you're holding it like this and in front of you, just because obviously, the microphone is a lot further. You're talking about a few inches and now this is like a foot and a half. So it is gonna sound a little bit different, but just something to note. So like I pointed out before, being able to put your microphones in this position is already enough of a benefit, depending on obviously if you vlog a lot or if you're kind of holding your, your uh, camera in this type of position. Um, that feature alone is enough for me to say you should get this microphone at this price point and the clarity and the benefit, it's worth it. You should definitely be getting it. Okay guys, that's it for this review. I hope I was able to help you guys out. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them below. Um, any questions at all, you guys have been having some great questions with some of the other microphone reviews I've done. So thank you for that, I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so um, make sure you like and subscribe and all those things I'm supposed to say at the end of the video. Um, but I will catch you guys in the next review.